Ladies, gentlemen, welcome. Today, I bring you some very, very good news. Five days ago, I uploaded a video telling that in the Netherlands, you were not able to play GTA Online. It had to do with a bunch of issues. It turns out there's actually a very simple fix for it. So on PS4, the way to fix this is very simple. What you want to do is you want to go to your settings and then to network then to set up internet connection and then either use Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Obviously LAN cable is best. They then go to custom and then IP settings is something that you have to do for yourself. Personally, I use a static IP, so I choose manual. And what you want to do then is to fill in the primary and secondary DNS shown on screen. Then you simply click next. MTU settings automatic. Proxy server do not use and then test your internet connection to make sure that everything is still working fine. Everything is still working fine, so let's jump onto GTA and see if it works. And there you go. We're logging in to GTA Online on PS4. I was as surprised as you are to see this. Uh, I was previously using Google DNS, but that apparently doesn't work for some reason. Very odd. Now, does this work on PC as well? Yes, it does. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix that for yourself as well. Right, so what you want to do when you're on PC is you want to go to your network and sharing center. You can access that by right clicking your uh, icon for your internet of either being LAN or Wi-Fi, and then just simply open network and sharing. I'm personally using Windows 10, uh, obviously for different Windows versions, that will be roughly the same. What you want to get to in the end is your adapter settings. So you go to change adapter settings and you have to find either your ethernet or your Wi-Fi connection. What you want to do then is double click that. You'll get this screen right here. You go to your properties, double click on Internet Protocol version 4. Now, in order to change your DNS, you don't actually have to uh, give a static IP address. And all you have to do is the same thing as on PS4, but changing your preferred and alternate DNS server in these two addresses. Once you've done that, make sure to click validate settings upon exit. So you're sure that everything is still going to be working fine as you exit. Simply click OK. And then click OK again. This little screen will pop up. Everything is looking fine. And now GTA 5 on PC will work as well. Now, obviously, for Xbox, this is going to be the exact same way. Personally, I don't really play GTA Online on Xbox One. But if you have the same issue, it's the same thing as on PS4. Just simply go to your network settings, change your DNS to those addresses, and you should be just fine. I just figured for PS4 and PC, those are two completely different things. On Xbox, it should be roughly the same. I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to figure out how to find your network settings on Xbox One as well. With all that said and done, thank you all so very much for watching. I'm very glad I resolved this issue. As far as I know, this is only a fix for the specific issue I had, but it's more than likely that this is going to fix a variety of different issues as well so it's definitely worth uh, putting it in there if you're having issues with gta online and its connectivity so thank you also very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i'll see you all later